Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favourite cubes. Now these are the 10 puzzles which I think are the funnest to solve, or the best puzzles in my collection. So at number 10 we have the QJ Megaminx version 2. Now I have to admit I never really practiced Megaminx and I used to find it boring. However I started to solve it more and I'm really getting into it. I used to have a QJ Megaminx version 1 that was tiled and it didn't turn very well at all. But since I've got this puzzle, I've been solving Mega Minx a lot more, and I've been getting into it, practicing, and getting a lot faster on it. So I really enjoy solving Mega Minx now. At number 9, we have the Shengshao 5x5. Now I really like this cube. I really like solving big cubes, but out of all the cubes, 5x5 and up, I definitely practice this one the most. I've been getting a lot faster at 5x5 since I've got this cube. And I really like solving it. It's a very, very nice puzzle. It turns really well. And it's a really nice puzzle to solve. At number 8, we have the MF8 Terraminx. Now, as you can see, this cube is kind of huge. And I guess I just kind of keep this puzzle as a novelty item. I don't really solve it that much. It turns really, really well. And it is pretty nice to solve. However, the stickers do come off it quite a bit. And it does get quite boring to solve, so that's why it's not further down the list. I find that I take quite a few days to solve this, as opposed to solving it all at once. So at number 7, we have the Shengshao 8x8. Now this cube is amazing. It turns so great for the size of the puzzle, and it makes it a pleasure to solve. I solve this puzzle a lot more than I do 6x6 and 7x7, and I think this is because it just turns so good. However, again, this puzzle can get quite tedious to solve because it's so big. The centers can get quite boring and it does pop quite a bit and it's quite annoying to get the pieces back in. So that's why it isn't further down the list. So at number six, we have the Diane Guhong version two. Now this is my main three by three at the moment. And three by three is the cube that I practice the most. This cube is really, really smooth and I really enjoy solving 3x3 on this puzzle. Makes it really, really easy to solve the puzzle. I really like the smooth feeling of it. It's not just the type of 3x3 that I like, but the puzzle itself is really fun. And I find that I can just sit and solve 3x3 for hours without getting bored. At number 5, we have the MFA and Smash Dino Cube. Now I only recently got this puzzle, but since I got it, I've been solving this cube a lot. I just can't get enough of it. The overall look of the puzzle is really, really nice. It turns really well since I've lubricated it, and it's a really fun puzzle to solve. It's not too difficult, however I spend a lot of time just solving this cube over and over because it's such a fun puzzle to solve. At number 4, we have the Cube For You 3x3x7. Now as you probably know, I love the cuboids, and this is one of my favourites. It's the biggest 3x3xn puzzle that I have, and it's my favourite to solve. I just love the look of this puzzle, and how it turns. It's just a really great puzzle, and I really enjoy solving it. At number 3, we have the Mephits Curvy Copter. Now this puzzle amazes me. Not only does it look an amazing puzzle, it's one of the funnest to solve and it turns really well. I love solving it and I've never got bored of it. This is one of the only puzzles that I learned how to solve by myself. I don't know how to solve it with jumbling but I managed to figure out how to solve it when you're only doing 180 degree turns and I really do enjoy solving it. It's a really really fun puzzle to solve. It looks really good and it turns really good. So at number 2, it's a very recent puzzle which I've got, and this is the Calvin's Puzzle Square 1. Now I used to hate Square 1, I couldn't solve it and I didn't want to solve it. I guess it just threw me how different it was, and I found it really difficult to solve. However, since I've got this puzzle, I've been solving Square 1 a lot, I've actually learned how to solve Square 1, and I find it a really fun puzzle. This cube itself turns really really good, it doesn't pop at all which it did on my other square one and it made me really really like square one this is a really nice puzzle so my favorite puzzle at the moment is the 4x4x6 this is such a cool puzzle 
is a cuboid as you probably noticed it turns great it's fully functional and it shape shifts like crazy i really love the cuboids and this is definitely my favorite one i just love the way that it turns it turns really well i love the different ways that it can shape shift and it's a really fun puzzle to solve as well it's quite a challenge because every solve is different and you do need to work out different cases every time you solve it's a really, really nice puzzle, and it's my favourite puzzle at the moment. Anyway guys, those are my top 10 favourite puzzles at the moment. Feel free to leave your favourite puzzles in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.